During the weekend, I scrolled through Twitter to see what was happening in the AI community. Once again, DeepSeek has drawn worldwide attention. This isn't just any text recognition tool. It's a brand new contextual optical compression technology that uses visual methods to solve the challenge of processing long texts, offering a completely new approach to handling massive amounts of document information. Anyone who has used a large language model has encountered a common pain point. When you ask the model to summarize tens of thousands of words from conference notes or academic papers, it starts to lose its memory. This is because the quadratic complexity of sequence length inherently limits GPT, Gemini, and Claude. The longer the input, the more computational power it requires. But humans aren't like that. We can glance at a note or a diagram and instantly recall an entire passage. Traditionally, for AI to understand long documents, the entire document must be converted into digital text. This process consumes a large number of tokens, which can be understood as the units used by the AI agent to process information, resulting in low computational efficiency. DeepSeek OCR takes a different approach. It first converts text into images and then uses visual tokens to compress and represent this information. Imagine you have a 10,000 word article Instead of having AI read it word by word, it can simply glance at an image to understand and reconstruct the original text. The core breakthrough lies in its ability to represent rich information in a single image containing document text using far fewer tokens than the equivalent text. This means that optical compression with visual tokens can achieve higher compression ratios, allowing us to do more with fewer resources. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. I will ask the chatbot a question. What are the main findings? If you take a look at how the chatbot generates the output, you'll see that the agent extract text from each page, but if a page contains less than 50 characters or lacks embedded text, it converts that page into a high resolution image and sends it to DeepSeek OCR on Replicate, which uses an innovative contextual optical compression approach where it converts the document into visual tokens and compresses the information, essentially allowing the AI to glance at an image representation rather than reading word by word, which can turn a 10,000 word article into a much more efficient compressed format. Once all text is extracted, the system breaks it into 500 character chunks with 50 character overlap to maintain context, converts each chunk into mathematical vectors using OpenAI embeddings, and stores them in a Chroma vector database that persists on disk for future use. When you ask a question, the agent searches through these vectors to find the five most semantically similar document chunks, assembles them into a context prompt along with your question and instructions to cite page numbers, then sends everything to the Llama 3.1405B model running on Replicate's streaming API, which processes the prompt and generates an intelligent answer chunk by chunk in real time then generate the answer and the source document citations showing which pages the information came from, creating a complete RAG agent that can understand any PDF. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. DeepSeek OCR is an end-to-end -end OCR and document parsing model designed to achieve optical context compression. This model consists of two major components, a deep encoder that compresses high resolution image input into a small number of visual tokens and a DeepSeq 3B MOE decoder, a mixture of experts language model that restores the original text from the visual token sequence. Deep encoder, approximately 380 million parameters, incorporates a SAM-based window attention mechanism for local image feature extraction, and by inserting a two-layer CNN with 16 times compression in between, it significantly compresses a 1024 by 1024 pixel image from 4,096 patches to around 256 tokens. The decoder side that receives these visual tokens has a total of 3 billion parameters, approximately 570 million are effective during inference. 
and has an MOE structure that dynamically uses six experts per step from 64 experts, allowing for lightweight yet efficient text reconstruction. With this architecture, DeepSeq OCR takes an unconventional approach by converting the contents of a text document into an image and then reading it. When I tested both OCR models, I found something interesting. Paddle OCR VL, which is actually smaller, 0.9 billion parameters, was beating much bigger 3B models in real-world tests. I gave it tough jobs, reading vertical text in the right direction, understanding complex math formulas, and handling documents with multiple columns, and Paddle OCR VL nailed them all, while DeepSeq OCR made mistakes with reading order and formulas, even though it has cool compression features. Then I discovered something fun in DeepSeq OCR's research paper. They actually thanked Paddle OCR and admitted they used it to label their training data, which made me realize why companies like Baidu, DeepSeq, and Shanghai AI Lab are all releasing OCR models. They're not making OCR tools as their main job, they're building them to clean up huge amounts of data for training their AI models, and we're getting these powerful OCR tools as free bonuses. After testing everything, I figured out that if you're building something for real work and need to read printed text, forms, tables, or documents in different languages, Paddle OCR VL is the way to go. While DeepSeq OCR is better if you're a researcher trying to compress data to save money on AI costs. In the traditional large language model, text is broken down into discrete text tokens, typically words or subwords. Each token is assigned a fixed ID in the vocabulary and mapped into a vector via a large lookup table embedded layer. While this process is efficient, its expressive power is limited by the limited vocabulary. Visual tokens are completely different. Instead of coming from a fixed lookup table, they are continuous vectors generated directly from image pixels by a neural network visual encoder. This means higher information density, global pattern perception, larger expression space. So before we dive into our application, we will create an ideal environment for the code to work. For this, we need to install the necessary Python libraries. Guys, if you would like to support me, please consider joining my Patreon. You'll find all my codes there, and every single dollar goes back into making videos. The next step is the usual one. We will import the relevant libraries, the significance of which will become evident as we proceed and perform some basic configuration. I developed this custom Llama class by inheriting from Langchain's base LLM class and configuring it with the Llama 3.1405B model identifier, token limits, and temperature settings. I implemented the required underscore LLM underscore type property to return an identifier. Then I built the core underscore call method, which takes a prompt, packages it with the configuration into a dictionary, sends it to replicates streaming API, and loops through the response chunks to concatenate them into a complete answer. I built this OCR PDF loader class to extract text from PDFs by first trying native text extraction and falling back to OCR when needed. I initialized it with a file path, an optional OCR flag, and a text threshold, default 50 characters, to detect if a page has enough native text. In the load method, I opened the PDF with PyMU PDF, looped through each page to extract text natively, then checked if OCR was forced or if the extracted text was below the threshold. If so, I called my underscore OCR underscore page method which I built to convert the page into a high-resolution PNG image, send it to Replicate's DeepSeq OCR API, get the OCR text back, clean up the temporary image, and return the extracted text. Finally, I packaged each page's text into Langchain document objects with metadata, source file, page number, file name, and returned them as a list, giving me a smart loader that automatically handles both digital and scanned PDFs. Next, I built this Langchain PDF rag. The class is the main orchestrator that ties everything together into a complete RAG system. I initialized it by setting up my custom Llama model for generating answers, OpenAI embeddings for converting text into vectors, a text splitter that breaks documents into 500 character chunks with 50 character overlap to maintain context between chunks, and a Chroma vector database that I configured to persist on disk so it could reload existing data between sessions. I created the addy.pdf method, 
which uses my OCR loader to extract text from PDFs, splits that text into manageable chunks, then either creates a new vector store or adds to an existing one by converting each chunk into embeddings and storing them for semantic search. Finally, I implemented the query method where I set up a retriever to find the five most relevant document chunks, built a lang chain chain that takes a user's question, retrieves relevant context, formats it into a prompt template, asking the LLM to cite page numbers, passes everything to my Llama model for generation, and returns both the generated answer and the source documents with their page numbers, essentially creating a complete question answering system that can intelligently search through PDFs and provide accurate cited responses. I instantiated the RAG system with Llama 3.1405B, loaded a PDF into the vector database, and queried it with a question. The agent retrieved relevant document chunks, generated an answer, and returned both the answer and source citations. DeepSeq OCR is not just a more powerful OCR tool, but a research paper that opens a new chapter. The concept of visual text compression that it proposes offers an imaginative path to solving one of the biggest challenges facing current large-scale models. The bottleneck of long context processing efficiency by rendering textual information as two-dimensional images and compressing it into information-dense visual tokens using an efficient visual encoder, DeepSeq OCR demonstrates that AI can see images like humans can, allowing it to understand and remember large amounts of information more efficiently.